Hey guys, we are back home. We got some snacks from Trader Joe's. We stocked up the fridge and tomorrow morning, headed to the hospital probably around 7, 15 a.m. So we're trying to get as much done at the house. So we made some updates to our bedroom just to prepare for baby coming tomorrow or maybe the next day. I have my postpartum stuff all set up here baby's little changing station and dresser we moved into our master bedroom just so it's easier for us especially these first weeks and then we put up the curtains we have the snoo in here got his little hatch night light and sound machine bam bam is claiming his spot on the bed <laughs> our bathroom is still being renovated oh my gosh we actually have our foreman coming tomorrow to hopefully finish up some of this and we will be in the hospital while he's doing it. Me and Eddie just finished putting in our clothes in the master closet. This is all happening in real time. Oh my goodness, going through renovation and having a baby at the same time. Good morning. Happy induction day. We are headed to the hospital a little bit late this morning, but we figured we're gonna get induced. Probably gonna be there for a really long time, so. Better get some coffee first. Yeah. I feel like we're going on a vacation. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> a very painful, rewarding vacation. Stressful. No, <laughs> shake it off, shake it off. right now and we are eating an early dinner slash late lunch. Um, gave me the induction medication like at 11 a.m. this morning. It's called Cervidel and now I'm starting to feel contractions every two minutes. Um, on the chart here it kind of shows us that they're consistently coming every two minutes. Still pretty mild but um, Good to know that the medication is kicking in. They said it could take anywhere from a few hours to a few days. So, shooting for the few hours <laughs> and gonna eat some food while we can. You seem pretty active right now. What's going on? What's the method behind this? I'm trying to get out of here. <laughs> Hopefully. Where do you feel the being uncomfortable? Is it in your tummy, like the cramps area? Yeah, like um, cramp area. Okay. So usually, like bending over, bending forward. That usually, um, when someone's cramping, they usually bend forward. <laughs> right now they're really strong they last for about a minute and they're like two minutes apart she's getting no rest but once we get the epidural should be good she's a new woman like a million bucks <laughs> so how was it I was actually scared about the epidural, but it was not bad at all. I feel like people hype it up. It did not hurt. It was like a pinch when they numbed you with the numbing shot. And then when the epidural went in, I didn't feel it at all. Like I didn't even feel it touching me. So it was amazing and it kicked in really fast. <laughs> and I'm still having contractions, like pretty big ones consistently. And I don't feel anything but gratitude. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. 
it is 7 30 a.m and last night my contractions really slowed down after having an epidural i feel like the epidural just made me so sleepy so now that i'm well rested we have our pitocin drip i'm at four centimeters so they'll check on me probably in like three hours and hopefully hopefully i make some progress got checked to see how far dilated I was and as she was checking me my water broke so now I'm at like a six or seven she said so baby's coming tonight oh my gosh <laughs> and they told me to stop pushing my epidural button <laughs> <laughs> the bloody show oh my gosh that was so weird yeah, it was uh it was like entrails I think Eddie's traumatized. <laughs> yeah, I had to look away on that one. It's gonna get a lot worse than that. I am starting to have pretty big contractions. They had me stop pushing that epidural button, so I'm feeling that a little more now. Not crazy. I would say they're like a level four or five in pain, um, period cramps, but they're making me nauseous. So I'm looking at the monitor and yesterday when the contractions got past 100 it was so so painful and now when they're past 100 it's like it feels like period cramps nothing nothing unbearable at all that's a good thing so my nurse just came in and checked me i am eight or nine centimeters i think i'm gonna start pushing in the next couple hours we called the doula to come by, so she's probably going to be here soon. Doctor was notified, so yay, game time. Babe, how you feeling? Bottom. Put them up like you're pooping, like you're pooping too. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Eight. You want any ice? Any ice chips? No, it's okay. You're sure? Oh my 
Oh yeah, don't tell me I didn't have a natural birth. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. He's out. I was like, I don't want to go to sleep already. Yay, I'm so happy for you. Good job. You did great. Mm, you so good. Uh, 